Red Dead Redemption 2 is just one week away from today and they've just released the launch trailer for the game. That's what we're going to be breaking down in today's video here on the ranch for your latest and greatest Red Dead Redemption 2 information, speculation and more. So without further ado, let's get into this brand new trailer Rockstar Games have released for us, analyse what they've got for us, and if you feel like staying tuned to a channel for all the latest gameplay after release, make sure you guys dead eye that subscribe button down below and help us reach 45,000 before the release of the game. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. The first thing to note, of course, here is Arthur Morgan and Dutch Vandalin having a one-on-one -on -one at seemingly an empty camp. Now, this is probably the camp in the game that will constantly move with the gang members being part of it. One of the main mechanics of Red Dead Redemption 2 is the aspect that we get to move our camp around the map as we're chased by the law enforcement. Now, Dutch is trying to convince Arthur Morgan that they can finally get out of the game and they can finally live a good life if they just pull off this one last score but we all know that that probably isn't going to work out as they plan yeah, nothing means more to me than this game now did anyone get chills as soon as that music kicked in because i certainly did what an awesome soundtrack to launch with the final trailer for the game before the game comes out next week the music is beautiful absolutely loving it however what we do need to discuss from this scene however is not necessarily the music as you can see we have the gang riding through the forest and the woods and you can just see how ambient the sunset is in the distance we can also see how some of the trees have been broken apart giving us some diversity within the woods itself however talking about this specific scene alone there isn't too much to go on other than that we see arthur morgan John Marston, Sean Maguire, Sadie Adler, Micah Bell, and of course Dutch Vanderlyn before the scene then cuts to black. We don't get to see anyone else, but of course they're the most prominent and famous, shall we say, gang members of the bunch. That means more to me than this gang. I would kill. This is probably my favourite scene from the trailer. I don't know why particularly, but you can see Arthur Morgan and Dutch Vanderlyn doing a hold up in some sort of bank, I would presume. But something I found really, really awesome, and the way how Rockstar Games have nailed the ambience and just the casual aspect of the game is how Dutch Vanderlyn is just leaning over the counter with his weapon pointed with one hand, like, eh, you know what, I don't really need to aim because I can still shoot you from this distance. Awesome scene. I would kill for it, I would happily die. Now there is quite a lot to go through on this, believe it or not this is the same segment, we have the gang riding and then we have them riding along the train, now you may not realise this scene here where Arthur Morgan is tossing stuff to this person here, that is on the train itself as well. As we can see, of course, this is the heist that they were talking about just a few moments ago. I cannot believe that this game is going down the same route as GTA 5. GTA 5 was so successful, and the aspect of heists in that game is really what made that game more exciting than the previous GTAs, for example. And he's got no hat on. This is one of the only times, apart from a few other various screenshots and gameplay clips, where we've seen Arthur Morgan without a hat on with his usual hair. Very unusual to see that, and also I love it how his trench coat or his coat is holding down at the bottom there it's really really awesome definitely going to be an awesome mission to play when the game is released I wish things were different Sadly, we can't make out who exactly that is on the floor that Dutch Vanderlyn is seemingly about to execute, but one of the main things we can point out is a reoccurring theme throughout the trailers, and that is that the gang love fire, or maybe Dutch Vanderlyn loves fire, and this is his downfall, he's a very destructive person, and maybe that is foreshadowing the burning and the ending of the gang altogether falling apart, as we can see after this heist or whatever they've done, they've chosen again, or again, Again, like I say, Dutch Vanderlyn has chosen his signature ending to burn down the building, a feature that will be available in the game, so we've heard throughout previews. Oh. I'm sorry guys, I had to. I, I had to include that. Rockstar Games, of course, giving a nod there to GTA San Andreas. Fun fact, GTA San Andreas also released on the same day, October 26th. 2004. So this is probably a little easter egg they've put in for you guys. 
I don't want to kill all these food Dutch. So as we saw there, another half of the train heist that we've seen. So we know that the gang go ahead and steal some supplies from the train. I believe the supplies were from Valentine. Then, of course, the hole gets blown in the side of the train to throw the goods out to the guys outside. They then jump off of the train on the horses and make their great escape. We also got a nice shot of the camp and some of the residents and gang members, as well as that agent spy who we also don't know his name just yet, but he is probably the main antagonist of the game. That agent, who we don't know just yet, but we definitely know he's going to be a big problem for the gang. Just you. Again, we get to see more of that agent, and then next, I want to get your guys' opinions on this. We see this cart blow through this bridge here. Now, is this the same bridge as the one that we see near Thieves Landing in Red Dead Redemption 1? It's probably not the same bridge, but it definitely looks similar. As you can see, the gang are breaking their way through a barricade there. And in the next shot, we have Saint Denis, or Saint Denis, the giant city. This is the aftermath of the bank robbery that we got to see in Gameplay Part 2. Too. We can tell that because Arthur Morgan is wearing the same tuxedo as he was in gameplay part two. I just wanted to point that out to you guys and this is of course the way we escape the bank. So that hole being blown in the side of the wall may have been an alternative route to exit. We saw in gameplay part two a huge hole being exploded. Well, they're exiting through the front from the looks here. So maybe there's alternative options. Just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. What about loyalty? Loyal to what matters. Do as your goddamn talk. So we finally get to hear John Marston's voice confirming to us that yes, as we knew all along, the voice actor is going to be the same. It's very relieving to finally hear John's voice in the game. This is the first time we've actually heard John's voice for real, an actual sentence being slurred out from him, and that train being derailed looks like an awesome mission we're going to get to do with John. Sadie Adler here as well, standing in front of a cart completely loaded with TNT? Now, is she about to go and do a kamikaze mission? I don't know. But nevertheless, it's awesome to see these characters coming out in the flesh one last time before we get the game. It is us or him! There we have it guys, a ginormous bear standing on its back legs and running towards Arthur and what looks to be a rooftop escape from a heist. Maybe that is the heist in Blackwater gone wrong, we don't know just yet. But what I'm really interested in is who is Dutch referencing? It's either us or him. That is very, very interesting. Now, I don't know what that could be implying, but it definitely says to me that maybe someone is snitching with the law. Now, we don't know who it's going to be. I don't know. I don't know if that's confirmed. I'm not sure. Again, this isn't a spoiler, but that's what I've gathered so far from the trailer. Super, super intrigued to find out from release date in one week's time, guys. Stay cool, stay awesome, and let me know what things that you liked the most in this launch trailer. I cannot believe that Red Dead Redemption 2 is literally releasing in seven days. If you guys are interested in finding out what I'm doing here on this channel come release, then I'm going to explain that briefly for you guys. So come release of Red Dead Redemption 2, I want to do gameplays with commentary and green screen. I want to do tips and tricks for you guys. I want to do Easter eggs. And I want to do all of the cool stuff and fun challenges that you guys get to set me all the way in from the comfort of your home. So you guys can tune into this channel, watch non-spoiler gameplay. I am going to be playing story missions, but what I mean by non-spoilers is my titles aren't going to have spoilers or my thumbnails. And this is really important to tell you guys because I've had at least 8 to 10 comments in the last hour across all of my videos asking me about spoilers, 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 because I was trying to block out the word spoilers to try and fix the comment section for you guys not getting the game spoiled. And I noticed that a lot of you guys are asking me what I'm going to be doing about spoilers come release. So I thought I'd just tell you guys that, and this is going to be a very safe channel for that upon release. I personally cannot believe that Red Dead Redemption 2 is releasing next week. So we have tomorrow being Friday and that is a confirmed date that you guys are going to be able to pre-download Red Dead Redemption 2. That's correct. If you guys have pre-ordered Red Dead Redemption 2 as a digital copy on Xbox One 
or PlayStation 4 from tomorrow, Friday, the 19th of October onwards, you will be able to pre-download that to your consoles. Now, pre-downloading means that you download a huge majority of the game and then come midnight on the release day, so the very minute that you're legally able to play the game, well, not legally, but you know, you're actually able to play the game, the developers released it, they want you to play the game, the very minute the clock strikes that moment, because you've pre-downloaded the game, you'll have a tiny weeny incy little patch to download and there you go so actually it's probably the quickest way you guys can get access to red dead redemption 2 and the quickest way that you guys can play the game as soon as you're able to now i don't know which way i'm going to be doing it personally i've got various different sources and different means of playing the game uh, at the moment i'm thinking of sticking with my digital copy i do have a physical copy as well on the way for delivery i have various other copies that i'm trying to get my hands on as well as our giveaway so make sure you guys stay tuned for that in the coming few days the announcements for that and shout out to you guys for being awesome stay cool stay awesome and adios